Hello. I'm going to show how to make a optical illusion um, picture frame box. And this is the first one, actually the second one I made. And this is what it looks like. And it's just a box that I made. And then you open it up. And then if you look, you have our two little doggies on this side. And then on this side, family. And so that is what we're going to. I'm going to show you guys how to make if you'd like to. And let's get started. So the first thing you'll need is this is the base of what your picture pictures are going to go on. And this measures nine and a half by six, and you're gonna score it on each side. So you'll score it here a half an inch, long ways a half an inch, and a half an inch. And then I like to draw my lines because it helps me keep my pictures in straight and I know where to place them. And this is a half an inch too. From the first score line, we're gonna score at one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, and eight and a half. And if I said score, I meant to say draw lines, not score. So um, we have that. So that's what we'll need this. And then um, the next two pieces we'll need. And it really doesn't matter what color you pick for these because you're really not going to see them. Okay, you'll need one sheet that's <clears throat> excuse me eight and a half by five and you're gonna score these also every um half an inch the first one <clears throat> excuse me you're gonna score at five i'm sorry a half an inch one one and a half two two and a half three three and a half four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. And that's all on this one. This one, you're going to do the exact same thing, but instead of stopping at seven and a half, you're going to score one more time at eight. So this one is longer. It's eight and a half by five. So you need one that's eight by five and one that's eight and a half by five and score it every half an inch. And then we'll need two pictures. Now what I chose to use is um, sticker photo paper. You don't have to. I have taken um, a piece of just regular pictures your pictures need to be eight and a half by five. And um, you can take those and cut those in half an inch strips, which I did with these. These are cut every half an inch. <clears throat> so the same as the other, you're gonna score um, a half an inch, a half an inch, inch, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. And you should end up with 16 strips. So every half an inch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 strips. And you'll do both of your pictures this way. All right. 
Okay, so this is going to be the lid. This is 10 and 5 eighths by 6 and 1 eighths. And then you're going to score at one end. It doesn't matter. You're going to store a half an inch. And then you're going to score at one. So a half an inch and one inch you're going to score. And then we'll have that piece. And okay, so this is the box that it's going to go in. Okay, and this is 11 and a half by eight, bud. And then these are the pretties that we're going to use. So these will go on the uh, lid. And these are nine and a half by six. Both of them are nine and a half by six. And then on the back of the card, this is nine and a quarter by five and three fourths. So nine and a quarter by five and three fourths. Okay, and then we have four strips of these smaller ones and they are going to be six by a half an inch. And you'll need four of these. And then the long ones are going to be nine and um, three fourths by a half an inch and you also need four of these of whatever color you would like all right let's get started so the first thing you're going to work with after you get all of your pieces done is we're going to work with the gray okay it The first part, we're gonna fold like a fan. You know how we used to do when we were little when we make a fan out of paper. So this end needs to be down. And then you just keep going back and forth. I get. So this one, it doesn't matter how you connect it, whichever you feel best, but I'm just going to fold one and I'm going to take this because we need to uh, connect it together. So I'm going to use tear and tape for this. And you can use glue too, either one. And I just, this I just got off of Amazon, just tearing tape. I saw somebody using it and I thought, oh, I'm gonna try that. And so I bought me some and this stuff seems to work pretty good. gonna connect it line it up the best we can and then we're just gonna continue back with the fan so back and forth.
All right, so we got these all done and it should look like so. And then the next thing we're gonna do is, y'all, how I like to do it is, Indeed is like your smart speaker. Alexa, what you're I'm sorry, stop. <laughs> Alexa, I guess figured she needs to speak. How I do mine is, I like to have both of my pictures here, and you're, it doesn't matter which one you start with, which, Ever one you would like and we're literally just going to I'm gonna start with my quote one and so we're gonna take it off and then come over here And then just line it up as best as you can. There you go. There's the first one. And then we're gonna do the next one. So we're gonna tear a piece off. Oh, oh sorry, y'all can't see me over there. Tear a piece off here. And this will also be on, I'll share it on my design space on Cricut. Cause I cut this with using my Cricut. But I wanted to show for um, people who might not have a cricket because just because you don't have a cricket doesn't mean you can't design and create this. <clears throat> just line it up. Like so. <clears throat> okay, so now we're on the peach. And this time, instead of doing two pictures, I thought, let me do a quote. I wonder how that would turn out. So we'll see at the end of this how well it turns out or if I like it or not. I'm sure it'll be fine. I thought it would be cute. back to the picture I'm gonna do one more and then I'll come back when we're finished. We'll meet back up here. There we go, that's what it's looking like so far. All right, go do yours and we'll meet back. Okay, we're back. 
Hopefully you got yours done. And this is what mine looks like so far. Now what I like to do is um, refold it back up because you'll see when we start to do it again um, that it just doesn't feel like you folded it. It's because we had the photos to, excuse me. Okay, when we fold it up, I want you to notice this. This first slat and also the last one should too. It needs to be flat. So your first hump should be, it should be flat, um, valley, and then mountain. And that's how we want to fold that up. So flat, valley, mountain should be your first one. And it should end that way too. So now let's just So, anyways, there it is. And it should end flat, start flat, and end flat. Now we're going to get that um, base page. Hopefully you already have yours um, scored and lines and this is the base page is the nine and a half by six um, page now what we're gonna do is I like to use the tear and tape I'm using um, a half inch of this just here and And then I'm going to go ahead and do my last one too. I'm not going to take it up, but go ahead and if you're using tape, you can tape it now if you'd like. Or you can wait to the end. And um, this right here so this first line is what we want the um, this this to line up in this box what's happening is every this is the valley but every valley on the bottom is a I guess a mountain we want on the line there we go and it should look like that I mean, it'll be flat, but that's how it should look. Okay. Now I'm going to do a couple of these with you. Hopefully yours won't look like this. <laughs> but what, you can use glue. I found for the, uh, for me, the tear and tape. And I'm using, oh Lord, I'm guessing it's probably, it's tiny. I don't even know the size to, but what I like to do is this line, I'd rather have the sticky here on this side than this side. So I just put just a smidge over the black line.
and I'm just gonna lay a couple right now. Y'all, a couple, how to do it. All right, so on these, I just take the whole thing up. So we're gonna take this, on this side is the mountain. And we're gonna line it up right on the black line. Okay, so now it should look like that. The first hump should be down, okay? Alrighty, now we're just gonna pull up the next one. Now we should have the hump. Lining up on the black line stick her down now it's starting to take form that you should have two going by now pull it up the next hump Lining up on the black line. I like to rub it. And now we should have three. And you will have to notice when you start going that you're gonna have to push it in again on the bottom. And when you're doing it, you'll understand what I'm saying right now. If you're just watching, you might not understand. But it kind of like unfolds and you got to fold it back up. So we got our hump and we're going to put it on this black line. The next one, line it up. one I'll do with you. Pull the tape up. We got our hump going. There's our line. Line it up. Give her a rub. And there we go. So that one's, this one's not done, but you should have one, two, three, four, five done if you're doing it along with me in the next one. So you go do yours and I'll do mine and we'll meet back up. All right. So I stopped because I, didn't, I wanted to do this on camera with you. So you should be this far along and yours should look something like this. And... On my last one, this is the mountain, and then the valley. I just wanted to, just, because at the end sometimes I'm like, what, what happened? If I don't understand when I'm watching somebody else's video. So I'm gonna pull the tape up, and we're gonna do the same thing like we did before. There we go. Sorry about that. So we're on the valley, the hump, and then we're gonna place it down, line it up on the line. 
like so, see, and give it a rub. And now remember, I already put my tearing tape on here, but if you're going to use glue, um, you can put your glue down now. So we're going to take the, sorry about that, tearing tape up. We can get it up. There we go. And again, it should end up in this box that we've made and just smooth it down. The border of it. Inside my other one that I made, you really can't see it. It's not that big of a deal, but I like, I didn't want to see any of my base. So what I did is with my strips, I covered that up and we're going to need two of the six by um, a half an inch and then two of these and I think earlier I said it wrong but these should be nine and a half by a half an inch and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna lay them down on the bottom on here Like so. I'm sorry, I might not have been in camera. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't think I'm going to use the, the green side of mine. I like placing my smaller one on top after I get my other two laid. So I'm going to lay the other big ones in the two sides and we'll get that done. Alright, so now you should have something that looks something like this. Alright, on the box... I left these <clears throat> so you can see, but we're going to cut um, these, this first set of squares, these two right here, we're going to cut off on all fours. Okay. Turn it do the same. Last one. Just cut it right on the score lines. Now you should have something that looks like so. Okay. Now um, what we can do is go and score.
who also is on here. Because it doesn't matter which side. I guess I'm going to do the tab. Is cut a little sliver off. So it'll lay straight when you go to... So you should have all your box folded up now and it should look something like so. And so now what I'm going to do is take my piece I made and lay it down in here. I just found it easier before I glue this up to lay this down and I just want to make sure everything is looking okay before I close it up. So right now what I'm going to do is put some glue. back so I can hear it just make sure you have it inside your score lines you should do pretty well about lining it up and there we go now I'm just going to take my tabs here and put a little glue on them. for a second. So now we're going to glue these on your corners. Now we're just going to take our uh, strips and glue these down if you want the pretties on top of here. If you don't, you don't have to. I just like it. So we're going to glue these down and I'll meet you back. One thing I forgot to mention is that I put a magnet on mine and whichever end you're going to put the flap at is where I put the magnet and then we'll just set this aside.
and then I just taped the rest of mine onto the mat. All right, now we're gonna put the lid on. You should have your box like so. You're using a magnet. Um, we're gonna put that on. So this lid, you can tape or glue. Doesn't matter, whichever you would like. I think I'm gonna use glue this time. And you wanna put your lid on because the pretty piece of paper that's gonna go on the back will cover the Um, the unfinished edge up on here, which I don't like to see. Got that done.
Okay, now for our magnet, let's not, we wanna not forget to put that on. So there we go, put the piece of tape under it. And this is the end results. <laughs>